Um, so let's uh, let's let's kind of get the Declan Rice situation going. So uh, I've done a report this morning, uh, chasing up some lines on Declan Rice. To my understanding, uh, as of this morning, early hours of this morning, Man City have not yet bid uh, mm. for Declan Rice. So there were suggestions we saw online last night that City were close. Um, but unless that's an informal discussion, no bid has yet been made. That could change, obviously, later on this morning. Could change in the next few moments. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but also with Arsenal, a third bid from us is also expected. That didn't go in yesterday. Sky Sports, I think, reported that two bids were expected yesterday. That didn't happen. Uh, there were also reports that Manchester United have made a player plus cash bid uh, that included Alanga and McTominay, I think, in it. I mean... If you want West Ham, feel free. But <laughs> I don't know what I'd be going for. Um, so where are you kind of at with this? Because I saw you tweet last night saying if we miss out on this one, it's like chaotic. Yeah. yeah it's a disaster. Like, it, it would be a disaster. And people turning around and saying to me, oh, it's not really a bad thing. There's there's other options in the market, such as Caicedo, potentially Barella. But no, this is Mikel Arteta's number one choice. The fact that we've done groundwork for this deal for over six months, seven months, and say, for example, Manchester City have come in within 24 hours, and if they do get this deal over the line, they're basically pulled our pants down. Like, honestly, honestly speaking, like, it's the same situation with the title race. We were leading for so long, and they've come in the final hurdle and stages, and they've won the league. But, for example, for that situation... You can accept it because that's basically a different kind of situation. But in terms of this like transfer alone, this would be a huge, huge blow. And I think Mikel Arteta, if this deal doesn't get over the line, he'll, he'll start asking himself questions like, is this the right club for me? Like, we spoke about this at the start of the window, TC. Like, this is a big window for the ownership, for Edu, for the Cronkays, etc. They need to start backing Mikel Arteta now and getting him his priority targets and Declan Rice is his priority target. It seems that all the articles last night that have come about in the media have said that Mikel Arteta has spoken to Declan Rice, has basically told him that um, you're my number one priority uh, mm -hmm. player for this position. Um, you're a potential future captain for this football club. You could win Arsenal the first league title since 2000. I want you to be behind the wheel that I'm basically driving, the mm -hmm. car I'm driving. And if the if 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 Manchester City say for example come in for him, put down the money, and Declan Rice decides to go there, what do we do next? And I've heard options such as Moises Caicedo, etc. But he's not our priority target. Yes, mm -hmm. he's a backup, but Brighton are asking for what upwards of 100, 120 million pounds. Mm -hmm. Chelsea haven't even made a move in in that deal. They've agreed personal terms. Yeah. But, I think there's something to be said about the fact that the, the, the whole June um, timeline for them, like they, I think they'll move for Caicedo at the start of July. I think that's when you'll see bids start going in, yeah. Yeah, but it's just, it's one of those things like Declan Rice for me, it, it's, he's a game changer of a signing. Like he's the kind of signing that basically bridges the gap between us and Manchester City. If Declan Rice goes to Manchester City, what is the point? Of, of of basically challenging Manchester City next season because it, it's not going to happen. It's going to be difficult to challenge them. It's going to basically be like the Bundesliga when Bayern Munich take all the best players and they win the league every single season and Borussia Dortmund don't even really challenge them. I know they challenge them this season, but apart from that, what happened? They win every single year. But yeah, Declan Rice, we have to get this over the line. 